Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the second episode of Cut the Rap. I'm your host, Sean Matos, and on this episode, we'll be reviewing the new show called Flash. Uh, Flash is a new superhero show airing on CW. It is going to be a shared universe with CW's other superhero show called Arrow. Um, the two of these shows will have a shared universe, so we could expect to see some future DC events happening in between these two shows. We're first introduced to the main character, Barry Allen, who is going to eventually become the Flash in this episode, but it does a little bit of exposition to kind of give you a background on his story. Uh, so it starts off with him as a little kid, and he witnesses his mother being suffocated by what looks like someone with flashlight powers. You see them running around in a circle around his mother, and he has like this lightning bolts coming out, it's red, gold. It's pretty cool looking, so you can kind of expect that Flash's powers are going to look pretty cool at this time too. So as the mother is in, in the verge of being killed in front of her own kid, uh, Barry's father comes down to kind of like get him to leave and run. They, they really hammer down that Barry runs a lot. He runs away from bullies at school, he runs home, he runs to his parents, he, he runs away from things that st cause him stress. It's just his natural state to go to. So he runs and it flashes into the, the future, present, where Barry Allen is much older and actually has a full-time job as a forensic scientist. And we, we learn to see that Barry's father was blamed for the murder of his mother which we know is wrongly accused because we see the supernatural element happen, but that kind of sets up the stage of the overarching story of this season, I would assume, which Barry's going to want to solve who actually did kill his mother and clear his father's name. So with the present time now being in full force for uh, this pilot episode, we are introduced to Barry as like a quirky, nerdy guy that's very relatable. He's kind of like that Spider-Man or Peter Parker type of character at first where you just can't help but root for him. And soon enough, the pilot gets pretty quickly to establish him as a superhero, and he comes to his event that causes his powers to emerge, which is a particle collider from Star Labs, which I'm told is a significant group in the DC Comics for Flash, so they introduce them right off the bat. They're going to be key players in the series, so if you know them from the comics, you can expect them to be in the, the show. And this particle collider is having a demonstration um, to show off its prowess of exploring new scientific boundaries for research, medical advancements, and other things that they are hoping to learn from this experiment. But it goes wrong. It's actually an anomaly that occurs, we learn later on, and it blows up and causes a storm of flash-type lightning, red lightning bolts, yellow, all to go around the city and start wreaking havoc. And Barry is in his apartment and becomes struck by lightning and is knocked unconscious into a coma for about nine months they say. His body is fully healed, it has a miraculous recovery, and most people during this incident die so we kind of learn that Barry has quick recovery. And he wakes up not really knowing what happened and then he has to get filled in by the people at Star Lab where he's being kept for treatment and uh, being overwatched by them. And he quickly flees to go visit his friends and family and he starts experiencing his superpowers in doses and it's a re really cool effect that they do for him. At first it's his quick reflexes, he's able to quickly grab things like what Spider-Man would do, like he would see this and grab it over there. Um, then he has slowed down time, his perception of time really starts to slow down. And then of course lastly is super speed. He has this achieved through tripping over things, we see him burst through a wall, we see him burst into a truck. He, he can't kind of control it yet, so he starts freaking out. Overall, all this stuff is very fast-paced. I'm not sure if they're trying to do that for the show being called Flash, if they wanted to have a fast pacing of the episode. But I found the pacing to kind of be a little bit distracting. It, it was a little too fast at first, where I couldn't connect to anything. It, it was, would just skip over things too quickly, and it didn't let me resonate with like some of the characters, especially some side characters that are just skimmed over for the purpose of introducing them in a pilot episode. But I think the highlight of this pilot episode for me is the whole draw of this Flash TV show is to have it interconnected with the Arrow TV show. And if you're a fan of the show Arrow, you're definitely going to be a fan of the show Flash. Arrow is very serious tone for those who do not watch it. It's more like a Batman type show. Flash on the other hand is totally different. It's bright in colors, it's goofy, it's very tongue-in-cheek humor, it's kind of like slapstick at times, so the two kind of complement each other very well and I'd like to see their interactions further on in the, 
this season of both shows. To kind of wrap this back into this pilot episode, Flash is narrating his whole exposition, I guess you would say, as to how he became Flash to a character. And midway through the episode, we learn he's actually speaking to Arrow. Uh, Oliver Queen makes an appearance in this Flash as Arrow. And he goes to Arrow, he's freaking out, he has his powers, he's like, I don't, I don't want to be a vigilante like you, I don't know if I can control these powers, and Arrow is just like, you can be a symbol of hope for, you know, the typical superhero line that makes someone want to be a superhero, where you can be a beacon of light for your city and save them. And you know, it may be cliche, but to be honest, it kind of helps speed things along for this pilot for Flash to, to really sink into his, his role. As for a rating of the show, I'd give this pilot a 3. I think it definitely suffers from pacing issues compared to Gotham. And I think overall though, this show has a better chance of a future than what Gotham does based on Gotham's pilot. I think Flash is already an established uh, environment to flourish on CW, especially being partnered with Arrow. Uh, Flash airs on Tuesday nights and Arrow airs on Wednesday nights. That's gonna be a bigger audience that kind of guarantees a more successful run. Um, I hope you guys like this episode of Cut the Wrap. Please check out Flash. It's on CW's on Tuesday nights. If you haven't seen Flash or Arrow, but would like to see a little sneak peek of what these two shows could possibly unfold, uh, check out the trailers below. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what you guys thought of this episode or the pilot in the comments below. Thanks for watching.